start the day. What's up, everyone? Happy Sunday, fun day, and welcome to today's workout. Whew, almost lost it there. Are you guys ready to sweat? Because I am. And we are live on both Facebook and Instagram, so thank you guys for joining me. Now, post in the comments below where you're tuning in from because it's always cool to see. My name is Matt Pippen. I'm a strength and mobility coach based out of beautiful Chicago, Illinois. And I am so excited to bring you guys today's total body workout. Now, whether you're a beginner or an advanced mover, my goal is to give you an awesome workout that challenges you safely. So no matter what stage you're at, don't worry, I'll give you guys tons of progressions and regressions for each movement to accommodate your skill level. Now, we're hosting today's workout to celebrate the launch of the Bulletproof Body 21 Day Challenge that I created with the Gorilla Boat team just for you guys. How awesome is that? Now, this is an on-demand program that combines mobility training, cardiovascular training, and resistance training with your Gorilla Boat to relieve those aches and pains, build endurance, and tightly tone your muscles. You'll get everything you need with daily coaching and exercise to guide you through step by step, plus direction on how to progress after the program so you can continue to make those gains. Now, I've taken the guesswork out of it, so you just have to show up and get ready to move. All skill levels are welcome, so go to GorillaBow.com to get more details and sign up. Now, we also have the link in the description, so you guys can just click there as well. It's going to be awesome, guys, and I can't wait to see the progress you guys make. All right, so you guys ready to get moving with today's workout? <clears throat> now, you're going to need two bands. We're going to go one heavy band and then one medium to light band. Now, if you're pretty strong, go ahead and grab that medium band. Now, while you guys get those set up, let me talk you through how this is going to go. There will be three rounds where we're going to kick it off with a little mobility training to warm up your joints and increase the strength, control, and resiliency of them. Then we'll get into the resistance training using our gorilla bow, hitting that upper body and lower body. Now, for the first round of this workout, I'm going to go a little slower to explain each exercise in a little bit more detail. Then the following round, you're going to pick up that pace to keep your heart rate and intensity up. Now that's enough talking, time to get to work, and let's go people. So we're going to first start out with our mobility training. And this is one of my favorite moves, it's for the hip. Hip is probably the biggest bang for your buck if you're going to spend time doing anything mobility wise. I highly suggest the hips because it has impact both up the chain and down the chain. So go ahead and hop on your ground. You don't need any equipment for this one right now. So what we're going to do is get in what we call 90-90. And so 90-90 is just a base position. You've probably seen this before, especially on social media. You're going to have your left leg out in front of you at this kind of beautiful 90 degree angle. My knee is straight out in front of my hip. Now my right leg is going to be in trail. He's going to come straight down from my torso and then I bend my right knee and then I bend my right foot. Now, if you're sitting up here and your right hip is just yelling at you right now because it doesn't like being here, we have some progressions and regressions for you. So regressions, you would just drop down to your form and then act like you're doing kind of like a side plank. You see I have this nice straight line running down. So this is step one. If you feel good here, stay here. Next progression would be up a little bit. Now I'm up on my hand, but I'm still trying to create that length in my spine. I don't want to see wrinkles here on this side. Last but not least, if you have really good mobile hips, you're going to be extremely vertical. But now here comes the hard part. We now have to be able to pick up our foot from this position. So I'd suggest we're going to do 10 reps here on the first round. So just start the easiest one, work your way up and kind of see where you're at. And then rounds two and three, you know exactly where you need to be. All right, guys. So I'm going to start on my forearm. We want to take our right hand and kind of grab our hip. We don't want a whole lot of movement here. We want to divorce the hip from the rest of the body. Right now, crush your knee into the ground, your right one. You're going to pick up that right foot. See how my right foot's a couple inches off the ground? If you can't get that up, you gotta roll forward and then you stay here. If that's way easy, you just sit up taller. Now we're gonna pick our knee straight up, up. You're gonna feel that stickiness in your hip and then the foot just kinda swings through and I go heel to heel. And that's why I call these guys kiss the heel. Now we're gonna go take it back, go knee, then the foot down. So we're hitting that both internal and external rotation hip. Let's get nine more, foot up. Bring the knee super slow. We're just getting kind of uh, prepped here. And down. Foot up first. Knee up. Touch. Knee. Foot. Back up. Now a lot of people usually ask me, why aren't we stretching before the workout? This is mobility training. Our goal is to build resilient hips. So we got to make our hip do everything hip. Two most fundamental things of that. Internal rotation and now external rotation. These are the guys you got to hammer on a uh, everyday basis almost just to make sure your hips are always able to do what you want them to do. 
Let's go three more good reps, guys, and then we'll switch sides. One, starting to get that good burn here. If you cramp during these, it's okay. You just kind of shake it off, go back to it, and that just means your body just didn't like being there because you've never done this before. And our last rep, and down. Let's go ahead and switch sides. A little break dancing action for you. So we're gonna drop down on that forearm again. Let's go foot up first. Make sure we have this nice line. Then the knee goes up, touch, knee, and foot. Let's go nine more, guys. Nice and smooth. Feel what's going on in your hip. Feel that rotation. When you pick that foot up, you should feel that pocket. When my knee comes up, it slides up a little bit. And then as I swing that foot through, I should feel my inner thighs kind of contracting. So we're hitting up just a little bit of everything that our hips are capable of doing. Knee, foot. Touch, knee, foot. Let's go five more, guys. Nice and smooth. One of the best cues I ever got when it comes to mobility training. I actually got it from a yoga instructor. She was like, imagine you're moving through the biggest, thickest jar of honey you've ever seen in your life. Because speed hides knees. So if you just whip your leg through here, you're not really getting what, you, what you're hoping for. You're gonna speed up where you're good so you can coast through where you're not so good. That's gonna leave a leaky pipe and that's gonna, that's gonna set you up for disaster down the road. Let's go one more and then we'll get into a little upper body mobility and knee and touch. So this next one is called 90-90 windmill. So we're gonna stay in the same position. We're gonna drop down to that forearm from here. Take your left hand. You're gonna reach out as far as you can. You're gonna feel this nice, beautiful stretch kind of your rib cage, mid back, upper back. From here, you're gonna swoop your hand around, and then I'm gonna open my torso up to the ceiling, and now I'm gonna reach my hand as far back as I can, and then my hand's gonna clip my left leg, and then I just repeat it. Reach, out, open, and through. So we're getting a lot of good spine stuff. We're getting some good shoulder girls, some lats. Open up. We're even getting a little bit of neck involved here, having to support that head. Reach, 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 reach. Up and over. Reach through. And remember to breathe while you're doing all this stuff. Now enjoy this kind of pleasant thing because we're going to get into it here in a moment, guys. we got to do that other side and then we're going to get ready to rock and roll. But notice how this is just starting to get out, all the blood flow, we're removing all of our joints. Open, open, open. Let's go two more and then we'll switch sides. Reach, reach, reach. Open, 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 open. Last one. Reach. Make the biggest circle you can. Open that torso up and swoop through. Let's go ahead and flip sides. All right, so same setup, left leg in front, right leg in trail all these beautiful 90 degree angles. Come down on that left forearm, take that hand, reach, reach that right hand out. Feel that big stretch all through up your ribs, spine, shoulders, lats, open, 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 and reach, smooth, smooth, smooth. Open, 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 and reach. Breathe, guys, breathe, breathe, breathe. Enjoy the ability to breathe right now, because once we get into legs, that ability is going to go away really quick. Reach, reach, reach. Open. Let's go four more good ones. Open, open, and reach. Get a little bit bigger with every rep. It's like you're trying to hit every little nook and cranny your body can move into in this position. Open, 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 to left. Reach. Open, open, open. Good, one more, reach, open, 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 and all right guys, it is time to get into it. So, let's go ahead and grab our gorilla bow. We're gonna make our way up. So, first thing guys, I'd recommend is kind of start a little conservatively in this first round with how much resistance you're using. So, kind of think about, just start easy because these are different movements. You probably haven't done these before, at least not in this capacity. And then during rounds two and three, you guys can double up the bands if you're feeling a little frisky. But for this first exercise, I'm going to use kind of that medium band to start with, just to kind of feel it out. Then if it gets easy and we want to ramp it up rounds two and three, we can go with the thicker band. So make sure you have it, regardless if you have a big one or if you have the Gorilla Bow Light, does not matter. Both of these can work for this exercise. So we're going to utilize what we call a Zercher Hold. Now a Zercher Hold is this, this kind of grip right here. So if you've ever done kind of power lifting, 
I don't know why they call it Zercher, but this is the guy who created it, I guess. And when you do a squat, you do this pattern, you do lunges, deadlifts, good mornings, whatever. It is an awesome position for the gorilla bow because sometimes it gets a little hard to put it up on your back, especially if you have a ton of resistance. This is a great way to kind of be right in that little sweet spot. So from here, we're going to take that light band. I like to grab the band I'm not using, pull it up. You're going to put this as wide out. So notice I'm about six inches from the edges, and then I got this nice wide stance. Now, if you're not that mobile in your inner thighs, just bring it in a little bit. It's totally fine. From here, we're going to hook, we're going to hook, and we're going to stand up. And now notice what that tension feels like. So this is kind of a little bit of a combination move. So go with me right now. We're going to drop and do a kind of a good, kind of like sumo squat. You're going to lean to the right, straighten that left leg. Lean to the left, straighten that leg. Come back to center, and then you're going to drive through your heels and finish your glutes up at the top. Kind of like you're doing like a kettlebell deadlift almost. We got nine more guys. Down, right, left, middle, drive. Down, right, left, middle, and drive. Keep going, guys. So one of the big things with the Zercher pull is you're going to get a lot more tension in that mid to upper back. That's what's going to get smoked here, obviously your legs as well, but getting that good mid back strength. So think about from a postural standpoint, all you guys who have to, especially now we're all sitting at home working, regardless if you have a desk or not, that mid back tends to just sit folded forward and doesn't get a lot of use. So we got to strengthen that stuff. One thing I like to always say is you can't stretch your way out of tightness. So if something is tight, you need to go strengthen it. This is a great easy introduction to how to strengthen that upper back. We got two more guys. One, one, drive. One more. Right, left, and go ahead and finish. All right, I am sweating already. So now we're gonna go into our lower body. So we're gonna drop down, we're gonna get back into that 90-90 position. So we're gonna start with left leg forward, right leg back. Now, this one gets a little tricky. What you wanna do is first, we're gonna use that uh, lighter band again. You're gonna take it, grab right in the middle, hook that under the arch of your back foot. So I've got that, guys, and now I can let go of the heavier band, put the bow down, and then I'm gonna grab with the grips so my palm is facing me. So make sure you're here. Notice where my right elbow is. It's kind of locked in position. I feel pretty stable here now. Now, from here, if you're extremely mobile, you're gonna be more vertical. If you're not, you can slide out. You can even drop down to your form. It's gonna make it a little bit more difficult in terms of resistance, but you're gonna be in a better power position. So kind of play around with that for this first round. From here, brace really hard like somebody's karate chopping in the stomach. You're gonna drive straight up. Hold, feel your core, feel your legs driving into the ground, down nice and smooth. Let's go nine more, guys. Here we go, up and down. Notice, keep that elbow right underneath the middle of your hand. <sighs> down smooth. So we're just challenging your typical overhead press from a different position, right? Back up and down. Five more, guys. Here we go, up and down, four. Nice and smooth. Feel those shakes coming on. Three more, guys. Here we go. One. And if you can't lock your arm all the way out, it's all good. As long as you're getting some good stuff in that shoulder. Last one. Up. Down nice and smooth. Safely put it down. Unhook that back foot. And now let's switch sides. My goal today, guys, is not to put a hole in my window. So let's just be on point of that because I don't want to have this land up on social media with a million viral views. So same concept, under that back foot, get that hand so that palm is facing me and then I just gotta make my adjustments. So instead of having that front foot here, some people like to be here, makes it a little bit more comfortable, you just gotta play with your setup. Here we go, get locked in, let's get our 10. Up, extend, down smooth. Brace and drop. Almost envision like you got a belt on around your belly button, okay? You got that belt relatively tight, and you're trying to push your abs out into that belly button. Five more. That's gonna make you really, really rigid here. And I try to preach that for almost every exercise that we do, especially in our next one, we get into some staggered deadlifts. It's gonna be really, really key. Good, let's go two more. Good, one more. And down nice and smooth. 
Now, if that band was way too much resistance, go ahead and, after we get done with our round, we grab water, grab a lighter band, because that one gets a little tricky. All right, next up, we're gonna get into some staggered deadlifts. So, with the staggered deadlift, what I like about it, it's a little bit easier, you don't need as much load to get all the things you wanna get out of a strength training exercise. So this time, we're gonna go with that heavier band. So I'm gonna use this big, uh, kind of bright part, dark orange. We're gonna go underneath the right foot. Okay, so it's only the right foot right in the middle. We're gonna go double overhand grip. Take your left foot and put it behind you about six to eight inches. Puff your chest out. My right knee stays still. I'm gonna drive my foot through the floor. Come up, squeeze my right butt cheek. Now, this is not a balance exercise. So have that left foot is kinda of like your kickstand. From here, brace your abs, head up still. You wanna keep your eyes pointing at the same thing your sternum's pointing. So you don't want your head to tilt back when you start to descend. Let's go down. Feel a little stretch, good activation right here, and then now it's snap that right butt cheek through. Let's get nine more. Down, load, and back up. You only gotta go just below your kneecap. You don't get extra brownie points for getting any lower than that. It's gonna make sure your back stays flat, everybody's nice and safe, so we can keep getting those glute gains. Five more. Down, four more. Beads of sweat starting to show up. Three more. Two more. I like to really snap that hip. Just gives me a little bit more extra sauce on that movement. So I'm going to come down. I'm just going to simply switch my feet. Once again, right in the middle of the arch, right in the middle of the band. Double overhand grip. About six to eight inches back. Puff that chest out. Come up. Drive that left butt cheek into the bow. Hinge. Hold and go. Notice my left knee really isn't moving all that much. Technically, it really shouldn't move at all. It's a hip movement, so we want our hips to move around our knees, not our knees to move around our hips. Back down. And if you haven't done RDLs in a long time, your hamstrings are going to be smoked tomorrow, so don't freak out. Let's get four more. Three more. Load it. Two more. One more. Come up and finish. Now, stay in the same exact position you're in. We're gonna drop down. We're gonna go with that lighter band just to start with. So switch the bands, but stay in your same position. From here, you're gonna take your right hand, grab the middle of the bow, palm facing you. Open your right foot out a little bit. So, I just wanna make sure I'm steady here. From here, I'm gonna drop my hips down. The left hand goes on the left thigh. My right hand is now going to pull. I'm gonna drive up and a little bit of rotation at the top. I'm gonna to come down, drive up. So it's kinda of like, a, like a dumbbell row almost with a little bit of rotation. That's three, let's go seven more. Squeeze, a good cue when you're rowing. Imagine the weight's behind your elbow. I'm trying to drive that elbow up to the sky. Four more. You're also gonna feel that left hip, glute, getting locked in. Two more. If this feels easy, next round, just grab that heavier band, guys. Good, and down. Let's go ahead and switch. I'm gonna spin around for you guys. Drop sweat in another spot. So now it's gonna go on that right foot. Left hand grabs right in the middle of the bow. Open that left leg open. Now we're gonna pull drive up. Turn. Keep your right hand on your quad if you need it. Two. Three. Woo, you're dripping. Four. Good. Just a little rotation. It's not excessive. It's just getting a little bit more movement in there. Three more. Two. Good. One more. And relax. Go ahead and put your bows down. If you need water or towel, go ahead and grab it. Clearly, I do. Woo, getting hot in there. All right, we're gonna get back into those 90, 90, kiss the heels. This time we're just gonna do five. Now you know where you're at, though, in terms of how much resistance you need. Keep that in mind as we go through. Let's keep up the pace now. From here, find your spot, forearm, hand, or vertical. Make sure you can pick the foot up without your whole body having to move. Here we go, left foot up, knee up, bring it through, touch. Knee, foot, foot first, B 
Feel that stickiness in your hip. It should feel a little different this time. Back up, but notice my upper body and my pelvis are not moving at all. It's just a hip move. One more, guys, here we go. Touch, knee, foot. All right, let's drop down to that right form. Take that left hand. We're gonna reach out, open, super slow. Wrap through, clip the leg, reach, open. Pull through, three more, reach, open, pull through, two more, reach, open, 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 last one guys, here we go, reach, squeeze out more, tension, squeeze, reach more, reach more, open more, clip, and relax, from here, switch sides, here we go guys, so me personally, my right leg is not as good as my left, so I'm gonna be a little bit more out from my right than I was from my left. Nobody's legs are equal, it never will happen, okay? So just keep that in mind. Pick that foot up first. Touch, knee, foot, foot, then the knee. Now if you want a little extra sauce on it, don't let your knee come forward. Make him go straight up. See if you can swing that foot through without the knee coming forward. You're gonna get way more inner thigh stuff out of that. Two more. Touch, one more, touch, knee, and foot. Here we go, drop to that form, let's reach. All right guys, now let's kind of pick up the pace a little bit. That doesn't mean speed up during the exercise, it just kind of means we're gonna keep the intensity up, we're keeping moving, we don't wanna stop anymore. Pull through, let's get three more, reach, reach, reach. I sometimes call it like little spider fingers as I kind of crawl across the ground. Good, open, open, open. Last one, guys, here we go. Reach, open, and let's get back to work. So let's hop on up. Take a little sweat off my face and my forearms. Here we go, we're gonna now use that heavier band if you feel capable. If you wanna go double, because you're a beast mode, then definitely go for it. We're gonna go out wide, under the foot, under the foot. So it's kinda like a sumo stance, Deadlift slash lateral lunge slash good morning. Ooh, that's a lot more tension. Here we go. Drop, right, left, middle, two, one. Side, side, two. Anybody out there who says you can't get enough resistance with the gorilla ball has definitely not tried this before. Middle, three, four. Keep those hooks in. Five, it's okay if it gets a little sloppy, it's okay, we are training. Six. Now we feel that upper back, right? Seven. Eight, two more. One more. And finish, squeeze that butt really tight. And down, slowly come out of that, and untuck. Let's get back into 90-90. Ooh, he's sweating today. All right, so we're gonna get left leg out in front. This is where we're gonna take that medium to light band, hook it under the foot. And all that's tricky about this is just getting the setup right. Once I have it, keep that foot driving down. It's also gonna, one, not let the band come out, but two, it's gonna help you create more tension. Grab in the middle, find your spot. Let's get our 10. One. Nice and smooth. See how solid my upper body is? I'm not letting anything move here. My head's not going anywhere. Upper body staying nice and still. <sighs> Halfway home, guys. <sighs> Down smooth. You even get a little bit more lat here because you can pull that in, right? So it's kind of like, like an assisted pull up. Two more. Feel that lat squeeze. And down nice and smooth. Dismount safely. Switch around. Take your time, guys. Take your time. Make sure everything's set up properly. All right. Good 90 90 position. Like I said earlier, if this isn't comfortable, you can bring this foot in a little bit and just lean more out to the side. Here we go. Palm facing you. Make sure you're locked in. We drive. 
One, two, nice and smooth. Another cool thing about this exercise, it just looks sweet, right? Got some good length here. Definitely, and I guess you could do this with a dumbbell or a barbell, but that would be really sketchy with a barbell. Down smooth, three more. Two more. One more. Boom, and down nice and smooth. Slowly come out of that. Let's make our way up. Let's get in those staggered deadlifts. Definitely when you have a bald head, sweat beads down a little bit more than usual. So this is, if you want to double up again, this is the time to do it. So we're going to go right foot, double bands, double overhand grip, get that left foot about six inches back, puff that chest out, come up, squeeze that right butt cheek. Hinge and pull through. Now, if this still isn't enough resistance for you guys, don't worry, I got you. You can do what we do, that zercher grip, right? The thing we did that lunge with. I throw that zercher grip in all the time for a little extra sauce. If you want that big old, actually, it's kind of funny to say, that gorilla back, you know, that we're all looking for, it's a good way to do it with that zercher hold. Good, and down. Switch feet. I swear I just made that up, guys. Here we go, six to eight inches back, puff that chest out, drive up and through. Really think, your right foot's not doing anything, it's the left leg. Hinge it, fire that left glute. Fire. Nice and smooth, everything's nice and calm, except our heart rate. Down, four more. Three more. Two more. Feel those handies. Good. One more. And finish and down. Stay still. Now we're going to do that row. I need a little bit more resistance than last time, so I'm going to go with that heavier band. You know your body better than anybody. Take that right hand, grab with the overhand grip, open that right foot, load that left hip. Feel like all your weight's on your left. Drive up in a little rotation. Down. Two, let's get our 10. Three, four, five. Don't get sweat on my new Vivos. Four more. Three, two, one more. Hold it and down smooth. Take that, I'm gonna spin around for you guys. You're just gonna switch feet. So now, heavy band is under the middle of the right foot. Overhand, or overhand grip with that left hand. Open that left hip open. Right hand goes on your hip. Here we go. One with a little rotation at the top. Two. Three. Four. Halfway. One. Two. Feel those obliques. Feel that mid upper back. Those lats. Good. One more. And relax, put it down, grab a towel, grab water, you got it real quick. Whew. All right guys, our last round, let's get into that mobility training, here we go. So we're gonna go left foot in trail, we're gonna do those kiss the heels one more time. Whew. Here we go, remember it's foot first on the way up, knee first on the way back. Over exaggerate that. Knee, foot, foot, feel that pocket light up. Knee, foot, back up. Three more, guys. We are in round three, people. Here we go. Last and final round. And you can enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And now drop down to that forearm. Whew, here we go, windmills, left hand. Reach, open, open. Open, clip that leg, reach. Open, open, open. Three more people, here we go. Reach, and pull through. Reach, and last one, here we go. Reach, 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 reach. Open up, feel all that stickiness from all the stuff that we've been doing, right? Coin switch legs. So one good way to kind of think about this mobility training stuff, guys, from here, let's do those kiss the heels. Remember, it's foot first. Pick that knee up and down. Four more. 
If you think of all the fun things that you love to do, whether it's working out, running, jogging, swimming, whatever it is, think of those as like withdrawals from like your health bank account, okay? So if you wanna run a marathon, that's a huge withdrawal out of your bank account. Last one, guys. You wanna go lift some heavy, heavy weights? That's a huge withdrawal out of your bank account. How do we put money back into our bank account? This stuff. This is kind of how we hit that reset button. We're always keeping money flowing in. Go ahead and reach. This is putting money back in our bank account for our shoulder, our spine, upper back, lats. Open, open, open. Because you got plenty of money in the account in your 20s, right? You hit your 30s, money starts to go a little bit, right? So you gotta spend a little bit more time. Doesn't mean it has to take over your life, but sprinkle it in throughout the day. Real easy stuff, guys. Two more. How hard is it to do this, right? How hard is it to do that kiss the heel? Simple, simple drills. One more. Reach, reach, reach. You don't wanna run out of that money. And relax. All right, guys, here we go. Last round. You know your body, push yourself. If you need double bands, go for it. Let's go get after it. Ooh, let's get this nasty one out of the way. So, double bands, we're gonna go that Zercher hook grip, squat, side, side, stand up. Feel that upper back getting smoked. Here we go, make sure you're good and solid first. Hook it, hook it, stand. Ooh, let's go. Side, side, Whew. side, side. Whew. Lock those hands in so we don't fly out, and boom. Side, 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 side. Feel like I'm doing like some jazzercise. Up, side, 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 side. Three more, guys. Hardest exercise of the day. Two more. One more. And and down. Awesome job, guys. Ooh, let's now get in that 90-90. Let's go right foot in trail, left leg in front. Make sure your setup's good. If you want to try that heavier band, go for it. You're a better man or woman than I. Hook it. Drop it down. Get that grip here. Now, left foot can go here or it can go out here, wherever you feel safe. Here we go. One. Two. This is why we do our cardio. So our heart rate comes down while we're doing this. Don't get me wrong, you get decent cardio out of doing this, but it's very different than doing your steady state. Very, very different. Three more. One, two, last one. Ooh, shoulders down and relax it. Unhook it, shift it. Let's go left foot back, right leg in front, hook it. Make sure you're solid. Make sure it's in the middle of the band. Palm facing. Quick little wipe. Here we go. Let's get our 10. Drive. One. Belly's tight. Two. You can by all means do this without your stability on the ground. It just makes it way harder. Four. Good grip. Five. Can tell which one's not my dominant arm, right? Here we go. Three more, two more, one more, finish, down smooth, excellent job. All right guys, let's go into that staggered deadlift, hop on up. So like I was saying earlier, if you want to, you can do this staggered deadlift with that Zercher grip. It's a whole different kind of stimulus, but if you're feeling it, go for it. If you're going double. Hands, let's go right foot, good overhand grip, left foot about six to eight inches back, puff that chest out, come up, squeeze that butt cheek. Here we go. Two, three. Everything is nice and rigid in my upper body. Just moving my torso around my hip. Five more. One, good load. Two, good load. Three, two more guys. 
bow. One more. Come up, squeeze that right butt cheek, and relax. Switch feet. Here we go. Home stretch. Pop that chest out. Good stance. Finish. One. Two. Get that good hip snap. Three. Almost like you're swinging a kettlebell. Four. Down. Five. Halfway. One. Two. Three. Two more. Four. One more. And squeeze that butt cheek. And relax. All right. We're going to do those rows. So you can stay here in this position. I will go one band. If you're feeling frisky, go two. Just make sure you can get it all the way up to here. Open that left foot. Grab with the right hand. Left hand's on the quad. Good power position. Drive and rotate. One, two, three, four, five. Five way. Five more, guys. One, two. Ooh, my legs are burning. Three, four, and finish. And relax. All right, guys, last one of the day. Here we go. Ooh, a little sweat. Here we go, under the right foot. Get a good grip. Stagger it open. Right hand on the right hip. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Little rotation. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. And Relax, put that gorilla bow down safely. Whew, awesome job, guys. How are we feeling out there? If you're like me and you're a sweater, you are drenched. So think about what we did, guys. Total body, right? Compound movements, big movements that involve multiple joints. We hit those with our resistance training. We got that heart rate up by keeping a good pace. And then we took care of our joints with that mobility, with those kiss the heels, those windmills. <sighs> Got to get a little bit of everything. Those are the three pillars of fitness. So, if you guys enjoyed today's workout, be sure to check out the Bulletproof Body 21 Day Challenge. I am winded. <laughs> it is jam packed with 21 days of mobility, resistance, and cardiovascular training to help you unleash your true fitness potential. Just go to gorillabow.com, get all the details. I hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Take it easy. Once again, thank you so much for joining me. I had a blast. We'll see you guys next time. Ooh, sweaty red face.